a health center in your child's school? Well, if not, you may want to look into getting one because according to the California School Health Centers Association, it could help to improve your child's grades. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Barbara Rogers. Joining me in the studio now is Kat Gutierrez. She is the program manager for the California School Health Centers Association, and thanks for stopping by to talk with us about health centers and schools. Um, where are these health centers located? How many schools are we talking about in California that have them? Mm -hmm. So there are 200 school-based health centers in the state that service over 205,000 students. They're primarily located in Los Angeles and Alameda counties, but we see them even as high as Del Norte counties and as down south as San Diego. So Alameda County has several of these. Several, several, several. <laughs> what do these uh, centers do? So these school-based health centers are essentially like having a doctor's office on your campus. They provide quality medical care from first aid, preventive care services, and in some cases, even dental health care. And how do they get to be in these schools? You said there are 200 across the state. I would imagine since there's a lot more than 200 schools, there are other schools that might like to have them that don't. School-based health centers are a naturally collaborative project between school, school districts, faculty, parents, students, community clinics, and even public agencies that really want to see students thrive. So how do they pay for these? So no school-based health center is funded the same way. There are a lot of different funding streams when it comes to school-based health. So you might see a school district provide some funds, in-kind donations for the actual center itself, federal funds can come in, community clinics might apply for private foundation grants, and you know, the list can keep going. You said that having a school-based health center actually can improve a child's grades? Yes. How does that work? Well, they're perfectly located at the intersection of health and education. After all, a healthy student learns better, right? And we've seen a correlation between having a school-based health center and reduced rates of absences, tardiness, behavioral health problems, and so young people feel more connected to school and can actually stay and achieve. Give me some examples of uh, the kinds of problems that a school-based health center has solved that would help a student's academics. Right. So in my work, I've come across uh, the story of a student who would come to school sleepy, who would fall asleep in class, and she was referred to her health center by her teacher, where she discovered that she had type 2 diabetes. From then on, she was receiving more insulin management, some nutrition management from the school-based health center, and has since then been able to succeed in school. And I would imagine, too, there are those students who have eye problems that are undiagnosed? Certainly, certainly. Um, something as simple as not being able to see the chalkboard from your seat. School-based health centers can offer vision screening. This is certainly the case in elementary schools where you can catch early myopia. Um, and again, much sooner the better. Mm. Now, do they actually prescribe any drugs for the children if there's uh, drugs needed? Or what, what kinds of, do, are there restrictions on what they can do? Mm -hmm. So medication dispensation, of course, only happens if there's parental consent. And when it comes to drugs, again, just like any other school district that has any specific sanctions, a parent must consent to the dispersal of any kind of chronic disease drugs, um, anything acute. And when it comes to mental health, again, there aren't too many psychologists at a lot of school-based health centers, so mental health screenings and whatnot are kind of up to the parents' consent. So how do people get in touch with you if they're interested in getting a center in their school? They can visit our website at schoolhealthcenters.org where we offer a lot of resources and information on how to bring a school-based health center to a community. All right, and, and you said there's no cost involved to them necessarily, but they have to figure out a way to fund it if they do it. It's a creative work in progress. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, Kat Gutierrez, for talking about school-based health centers. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Comcast Newsmakers, and I hope you'll be with us again next time. Bye-bye for now.